Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to fix the problem where the Wi-Fi settings icon is missing from the task tray in Windows. So let's see how we can fix this. There are many steps or many solutions to fix this problem. I want you to do all those steps with me one by one. And also I will request you to write it down in the comment section which of the solution worked for you so that it can help the other users who are facing the same problem. Now the first thing that I want you to do is power flush your system and to power flush your device just press and hold the power button for 60 seconds to turn off your computer wait for at least 10 to 15 seconds and then turn on your computer your issue should be fixed if it did not then let's move to the next method now in the next solution or the next method I want you to enable Wi-Fi network adapter so just right click on your network icon and then click on network and internet settings. Then on this window, I want you to click on this setting advanced network settings and then just scroll down till you find this option more network adapter options. Just click on it. Now from this window, you can find all the network connections of your computer here. And now you have to make sure that this adapter, which is for the Wi-Fi is enabled so just right click on your wi-fi network adapter and then click on enable once it is enabled it might show something like this not connected if you are not connected to the wi-fi but it will be enabled and if it is enabled you can see the icon turn to uh, something like this with a blue screen and if we click here on the network icon then we can find the wi-fi icon settings here and in the next step, we are going to run the internet connection troubleshooter. Now to run the internet connection troubleshooter, you can just click on the start menu and then type troubleshoot settings. And this is the one that I'm talking about. Just click on it. Then after that, you have to click here on other troubleshooters. And then from here, click on this one, which is the network and internet. So to run that we have to click on this run button then from here you can follow the different recommendations that are given by windows and check if they are going to help you like for example it's asking to check the ethernet cable but since we are not using the ethernet cable so you can avoid this then restart the ethernet network adapter this is also not required then it's saying restart your modem router or switch now this is something you can do you can restart your modem router or switch whichever the network devices are connected in your network you have already restarted your PC so this might not help then you can just close this and we will move to the next method that is to restart the wireless LAN auto config service hit your window key plus R it is going to open the run and here I want you to type services.msc like this and then just hit enter now once it opens up I want you to search for wireless LAN auto config it should be somewhere at the bottom wireless LAN auto config this is the one it is running right click on this one and then click on properties and from here I want you to click on this automatic startup type if it is set to manual or disabled just set it to automatic and if it is not running it is stopped then I want you to run it you have to click on the start button since in my case it is already running that's why the start button is inactive but in your case if it is not running you can click on the start button and then after that just click on ok if it is still not restored then the next thing that you can do is update or reinstall the Wi-Fi network adapter so for that just right click on your start button and then click on device manager now from here you have to look for network adapters and then click on this small arrow next to it then from here you can see the Wi-Fi adapter then right click on it and then click on update driver and then let Windows search automatically for drivers if there is any update available for the driver you can install it and also let Windows search for the drivers on Windows update and if there's any update available for your Wi-Fi driver I'll suggest you to update it let the installation be over and then restart your computer and after the restart if you are still not able to find the Wi-Fi icon here 
And since all of the methods that I have showed have failed to fix your issue, the last step is to reset the network settings, which is going to reinstall all the network adapters and also set the network configuration to their default. And to do that, just click on your start button and then search for network reset. Now in the result, you will find something like this. Just click on it. So you can just go ahead and click here on reset now and then click on yes. And then after that windows is going to be shut down to complete the network reset. Now once your computer restarts, you will be able to find the Wi-Fi icon back to its place. So that's all for this video. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.